Hi everyone. I hope this is working. And um, we're just going to wait till six o'clock and then we'll start. Uh, feel free to ask any questions uh, in the chat and hopefully I'll read it in time. Okay, we just wait until six and then we'll make a start. Hope everyone's doing good on a Tuesday afternoon. We come an evening now. Hello. Feel free to message in the chat anything you'd like, any questions or anything. Um, and I'll answer them when I see them. It's turned six now, so I'll make a start. So, I hope everyone can see my screen. And welcome to the Henry Gray Anatomy Society Freshers Fair. Uh, so, we're basically your, to go, your go to society for anatomy. And uh, our Freshers Fair presentation is just to introduce you to what we do and why you need us. So to begin with some history. So why are we called Henry Gray and not just an anatomy society? Um, Henry Gray is one of St. George's most famous students and he was around in the 1800s and you might know him from Gray's Anatomy. Uh, he is the writer of the textbook called Gray's Anatomy, which is considered the authoritative anatomy textbook for all medical students. Uh, he was quite an important uh, role model and figure in upcoming anatomy into the 19th century. And he was known for being a real fanatic in surgery and anatomy. And this is why we called our society after him, because we believe that his eagerness and enthusiasm for anatomy is represented through every member of our society. So what do we actually do? Um, if you're struggling with anatomy, we basically have got you. So uh, we hold weekly revision sessions, which is what we're famous for. Uh, normally after, well, uh, you have anatomy lectures and DR sessions every week or every fortnight. And a few days after, we always hold revision lectures for you guys. And they'll include um, just a presenter where students can come and ask questions that they had from the session. And uh, they also can include exam tips and some revision notes as well for exams and specific stuff that you've learned from that uh, lecture during the week. Uh, we also hold exam guides. We give revision life hacks, uh, clinical anatomy teaching as well. So it's not just pure anatomy. We do do a lot of surgery teaching and uh, so on. We have detailed notes and lots of question banks that we like to give out during the year. We are not just academic, we do hold social events. So we have online quizzes and competitions and lots and lots of prizes. And uh, one thing that we're working on this year is our HG Society textbook, which is basically going to be an anatomy textbook dedicated for St. George's and it will get you 100%, hopefully 100% in your um, exams at the end of the year. So what is our mission? It's student-centered student teaching. And our quote is to transform anatomy stress into anatomy excitement. Because anatomy can be quite stressful, especially I remember my first year, it, it wasn't easy. And um, yeah, I was really glad that I had Henry Gray to help me out. The, the revision sessions were so useful and especially around exam time, it was essential to my teaching. 
So we really want to make sure that we have students in our minds when we're giving out all these notes and all these teachings. It's for you guys, not so much for us. So what did we do last year? So just some examples. We had a weekly uh, dissection room teaching. We held a win winter exam lecture series. So normally your exams will be in January and every December towards the end before we break off, we held this six hour lecture series that goes through everything you'll need to know for the exam. And it's our most popular event and it, and it really is useful. We've had amazing feedback over the years and it's gone through every year. We also hold mock OSPs before exams. Uh, we had a national neuroanatomy competition training. So it's this big competition that one of um, our lecturers at George's uh, hosts and we do training for this session. And we had a lot of good feedback from that last year. So we will be continuing it this year. We also give out companion notes. So these are notes for anatomy for each lecture. Uh, we have question banks and worksheets to actively recall all your information and learning. And we also have a university poster presentation competition, which is very useful for um, getting into publications, into research projects and seeing what people from older years get into. So it's really actually quite good for freshers too. So why is this poor skeleton crying? So anatomy isn't easy. You are thrown into the deep end and expected to memorize the human body inside out. And I can be very, very honest, uh, learning Greek and Latin words randomly and honestly not knowing what, what they mean is really quite hard, especially within your first week doing lectures and, and you thought it would be easy, but it's actually really, really advanced. Uh, the university does not supply question banks for anatomy exams. They don't actually supply question banks for any exam, which kind of sucks. And you can imagine that's probably why he's crying. Um, anatomy textbooks, especially the ones that uni um, recommend, they, they are very expensive and we're talking hundreds of pounds. And last year, the university only organized one mock OSPI, and I mean, for all the years. It was one mock OSPI just for first year medics. That's, that's the only thing the uni sorted out. So what we recommend is that you be happy with Henry Gray. So uh, we give students the opportunity to softly transition into anatomy through beginner workshops and lessons. We supply question banks before all exams, as well as weekly quizzes on our Instagram and Facebook. We also provide students with our own handmade textbook which is split into beginner and advanced anatomy. So this is the textbook that I was talking about earlier that we're planning to do, which is tailored just for St. George's. And we hold mock OSPs before every anatomy exam, which is incredibly useful. It's a really good way to test where your anatomy knowledge is at before an exam and know where to improve in that final week of revision. So that's mainly what we do. Uh, before I quickly move on, I'm just going to check if there's any questions. Oh, there's quite a lot. Okay, so uh, Leon Chang, would you recommend for first year biomedical students? Definitely. So one thing that I didn't mention, I should have mentioned, is that um, our uh, society is tailored for each course. So whether you're a first year biomed, a second year biomed, a first year med, second year med, we hold revision lectures for each course, like specifically. So whatever you are doing, you will get tailored revision notes, tailored revision workshops too. So I definitely recommend the society in that way. Um, would the revision sessions be on MS Teams? Yeah, we're planning on having them on, on MS Teams so everyone can have a chance to uh, be included. What are you currently saying? Oh yeah, so uh, my name's Noor. Uh, I'm the president of Henry Gray and I'm studying medicine. I'm in my third year now. Um, I've answered that. What day is the revision session? So normally it's around two to three days after the DR session that you'd have as part of your course. Okay, oh, some of them have been answered already, I see. Oh, and how much does your society charge? So that's just, um, it's three pound through subs. And I'll talk a little about that towards the end. Uh, going back to the slides now, I hope everyone can still see. We're going to have a little fun and do a quiz. So I hope everyone's familiar with Kahoot. So if you give me one second. Okay, everyone should be able to see my screen now. And this is a site that we use commonly in uni to test uh, anatomy knowledge and do quizzes. 
So if you just put kahoot.it in Google or whatever and use this number 25886699. When you join, please use um, your M number as your name if that's okay. If you've already joined, you can rejoin and yeah. The reason I asked to use your M number is the three winners, the three top people, uh, will get free subscription for the whole year with Ed Henry Gray. So we'll just wait for that to start. I'll, I'll give it a minute and then we'll have a little quiz. I hope you guys can hear the music as well because it's, it's really good. Okay, 20 people so far, 19. Okay, slowing down a little. Like five, like six. Give it a 15 more seconds. Last few people join in. Okay, let's see how we do. All right, guys. A man loses his little finger in a skiing accident. How many bones does he have now? Okay, nice. Yeah, so we actually have 206 bones in our body and the little finger has three separate bones so if you lose that you're left with 203. So let's see who's on top right now. Awesome, good job guys. Next, what is the first organ to be supplied? Oxygenated blood by the heart. Nice, well done. So, uh, when the oxygenated blood comes back to the heart and is pumped out by the aorta, there's two little vessels that come out and those are your coronary arteries and they're the first vessels to supply the heart with oxygenated blood. Okay. True or false, is the tongue the strongest muscle in the body? Is this tongue the strongest muscle in the body? False. Now, you, you might think the strongest muscle in the body is probably somewhere in the legs, but it still actually isn't. The strongest muscle is our masseter, which is um, if you clench your teeth together, you feel this quite hard mass around your um, cheeks, and that is your masseter muscle. And it's known to be the strongest muscle in our body. Okay. Do humans only use 10% of their brains? Yeah, it's false. That is uh, a very, very, very false thing to say. Uh, humans use 100% of their brain and as you go on through your course, you'll definitely learn that. Maybe some people use a little less than others though. Okay, last question. What is the smallest bone in the body? This is a hard one, but whoever gets it right, I'll be impressed.
Yes, it's the stapes. So the malleus, incus, and stapes are three bo bones that join together and they're in the ear. They're like pushing against the eardrum. And the stapes, which is like a little triangle, it's the smallest bone in the whole body. Um, have a little search on Google and you see what I mean. It's, it's quite amazing though. So here's our podium. Well done to you. <laughs> And to you, and first place, M1700. Well done, guys. Um, I'll take uh, your uh, M numbers down, and you will have free subscription for the whole year. So, well done, guys. Um, I hope we're back to the. Okay. Is the music still going on in the background? Can you say that? Sorry. Okay. So back to our little slide. So that, that's the end of our uh, Freshest Fair. So if you have any questions, please put them in the chat and I'll have a look again now. Uh, if you could, please subscribe to our mailing list, subscribe to Instagram and Facebook, because that's where all of our society information and all of our, our um, you know, adverts and so on, that's where they'll be. We'll try and advertise within the group chats, but we don't want to miss anyone. So make sure you're subscribed. So going back to the questions now. Um, who do we have? How do we join the society? So yeah, just um, subscribe to our mailing list and the Instagrams and Facebooks, and we will get back to you on how to actually um, pay subs within the future. It's, it will normally be the day that you have the revision session, you can pay there. So, um, <laughs> what is the preferred mode of communication the society has with members? This is everything. Yeah, so just like I said previously, Instagram or Facebook, and hopefully we will be messaging on WhatsApp as well where we can. Um, what days will weekly activities be? Uh, we're not sure at the moment, but yeah, it's just, it'll be a few days after you have your revision, after you have your actual lecture. The music was a vibe. Yep, it really was. What is the email subscription? Uh, this is just where you enter your uh, school email and we can get back to everyone when we do revision sessions. And it's a way that we can um, keep track on who's subscribed to the society and who's not. Yep, the society is open for all years, whether first, second, third, fifth, whatever it is. It's open to everyone to subscribe to. And no, you don't have to participate on all events. Uh, you come, you know, you pick and mix, whatever, whatever you feel like coming to, you can come to. Uh, yeah, you can still join. Just join through the mailing list. If you don't have Instagram or Facebook, just join through the mailing list and we will keep people updated through WhatsApp, the WhatsApp group chat. So have a look on there if you ever feel like you need us. Oh yeah, the, the three winners from the last Freshest Fair, yeah, they will get free subscription also. So don't, don't worry about that. Okay, I hope I answered everyone's questions. What's the link? For, oh no, there's no, um, as in we will advertise to your specific year. So you should all be part of a WhatsApp group chat for your specific year or your course, and we will put adverts in there. Can you move the cat? Oh, I am so sorry. Yes, that makes a lot of sense. Um, my bad. Oh, let's not do that. Okay, I'll put myself here. Okay, I hope everyone can um, subscribe to the mailing list now too. <laughs> yeah, so um, thanks everyone for uh, joining and participating and I hope you had fun and I hope we see you guys in the future. I'll just wait till any more questions, but you guys are free to leave now.
Okay, I'll be ending the stream now. So, bye everyone.